Hi guys, welcome to Top Tips videos. Let's continue our topic how to create t-shirt pattern in Illustrator for sublimation printing. In our previous video, we completed the making of t-shirt pattern and the sizing of the pattern in each sizes. If you haven't watched our previous video, go to the link below and watch the part 1 and part 2 of this tutorial. Today here we are going to do the designing of the t-shirt pattern for the sublimation printing over the pattern that we made. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the more useful videos. So let's start the designing of the t-shirt pattern. So let's create a print file from this pattern. For that create a new page by pressing Ctrl N. Make the page size according to your printer platform. Here I am creating the page with the dimension of 150 cm height and width. Then copy the pattern to the new patches. Here I copied the medium size pattern. Then let's apply the t-shirt design. For that open the design mockup of the t-shirt as a reference. Here I open this design. Now copy the mockup to our work area. See here the design is with navy blue and yellow color. And navy blue is the majority color. So let's change the pattern to navy blue color by picking the color from the mockup by pick tools or you can select the color from this color box after that select both sleeve pattern pick the color yellow from the mockup or set the color from the color box here it's golden yellow so we could arrange the golden yellow by giving the 25 percentage of magenta and 100% of yellow in the color box. Now we should arrange the material for color. For that make a rectangle with 9 by 20 inches in vertical mode and give the body color as per the mockup. Arrange the color design inside the artboard. In vertical as shown here. Also make a rectangle of 7 by 7 inches for the placket. Now let's arrange this white cuff for the sleeve. That is the white area coming on the bottom of the sleeve. It is with the height of 1 inches. And 1 inch will go inside the stitching. So for that we have to create the white portion with 2 inch height. So make a rectangle of height 2 inch and width 20 inch and place on the bottom of the sleeve as shown here. And copy the sleeve pattern and paste over the same area by clicking Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now click mask the white portion with the new copied sleeve pattern. Now you will get sleeve pattern with the white bottom. But here the problem is over the white background it won't get visible of this white portion. For repairing that just to copy and paste the sleeve pattern as in same position by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F again. And hide this fill color and make the stroke color as shown here. So you will get a bordered sleeve pattern simply. Then just to copy the right stripe pattern and make a left sleeve too. And just to change the label to left sleeve. Now let's place the logo over the right sleeve. Just to open our logo to be placed and copy to our work area. And set the logo size for the sleeve. It's depend. But as our standard says we are resizing the logo size with the width 7.5 cm and the height proportionally and move the logo half inch from the bottom of the weight portion that is logo should be 2.5 inch above from the bottom of sleeve pattern and align towards the middle of the sleeve if there is any other logo in the left sleeve you could use the same process for placing the logo now let's see how to arrange the logo for the chest in the polo t-shirts. 
For that, browse and open the left chest logo as per the mockup and copy to work area and also resize the logo as our standard size. Here I am using 9 cm height and width proportionally for the chest logo. Now for positioning the logo over the left chest, make a box of 4 by 6.5 inches as shown here. Place the box on the middle bottom of the neck by align tools. Now place the logo on left toward corner as shown here and delete the boxes. Now from the body, let's arrange the bottom white portion. For that, do the same process that we did for the sleeve. So here, the white portion to be 2 inches. So we have to make a rectangle of 3 inches height including the stitching area. Here I am making the rectangle of 3 by 2 25 inches and align to the middle bottom of the front body. Do the same process of clipping mask the white portion by copy and pasting the front part in the same position and also again copy and paste the body pattern and make it only stroke for visible in the borders. Once we completed the front part, we could easily change the back part as well by just copying the front design to the back design or doing the same process over the back same as per the front pattern. Here we completed the logo positioning and the main parts positioning of the design. Now let's start to retrace the other random design by using the il different illustrator tools. Here I am mainly using the pen tool for drawing the outline of the different shapes in the t-shirt design. Here we are mainly using two color, navy blue and yellow. So we could pick the colors from the body and sleeve accordingly. So once we completed the main parts of the design, let's do a easy format to complete the other random shapes of the designs. For that, just click mask the front body part of the mockup by rectangle box. And keep it over the pattern and make the same size of the pattern body by width. And height by adjusting manually. Now release the clipping mask of the copied mockup for our design references. Now let's start to trace the design manually by using different tools of Illustrator, mainly pen tools as shown here. Here we finish the front parts design completely. Once we completed the design, just delete the mockup references design and come to the design pattern. Now just retouch the design if you have any further changes or any alteration. Here our back part design is just the reflected design of the front part designs. Now delete the logos and text that we don't need for the back set designs.
and add the additional designs and attached that we need for the backside designs as per the mockup. When you're placing the touch in the backside, as in standard form, make 8 cm down from the bottom of the nut, as shown here. For that, you could change the key movement to 80 mm by taking the preferences. Now you could delete the mockup for the references. Here you completed the wall the design. Now this t-shirt design pattern is ready for printing. And this you could give them for printing as EPS format or any supportable printer format. So guys, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell button for getting more needful videos. Thank you.